Here's Court trying to drown a dog so he can sleep with a woman. There's the cowboy we all know and love. If I'm charming, that means I'm not a serial killer. I had a dog once, but he was adopted by another foster family. <laughs> so, what bra size do you wear? Oh, I'm sorry, did you think this was going to be a light-hearted court plot? Because actually, this episode he's suffering PTSD over someone he failed to save from drowning in his past. Holy shit, this is what, the fourth time they've had a PTSD plot this season? Hell, they just had one last episode. Man, I really need to drink some ketchup. Luckily, I keep some right next to my bed for some reason. Hey, listen, man, I was gonna call in a pizza. Nice large onion, double cheese, pepperoni. Oh. I hate pepperoni. The rest is fine. I had a friend once. He hated pepperoni, too. You're really gonna use pizza toppings as your segue for this one, guys? That's a stretch. Court begins his tale of woe and drownery. Hence why he's decided to recklessly endanger everyone in his life since. That's why they call me John Dirtbag Court. My nickname in foster care was Short Round. Shut up, Eddie. Meanwhile, Craig, Garner, and Mitch are on a weekend camping slash hang gliding trip. Here's Mitch taking off into the hamburger in the sky. See you in hell, bitches! Wow, look at that stock footage. I'm totally hang gliding. Ah, so peaceful, so serene. Ah! Garner, you get the feeling we're forgetting someone. Nope. Who saw this one coming? I sure didn't. Everything's always fine until the shark clouds show up. Urgh. Somehow, this is Hobie's fault. Six months later, Mitch has survived on a diet of burgers and pine cones. What he didn't count on was finding more animal footage in the forest. <laughs> Okay, so, not only did he crash his hang glider into a tree and break his leg in half, but on top of that, he gets bitten by a rattlesnake and falls down a mountain? Oh man, when it rains, it pours. I guess the writers thought it was too unrealistic to have just one of these things happen to him. I haven't seen Hasselhoff in this bad of shape since that Avalanche movie. I think he died at least three times in that one. What the hell? He survived? Time to finish him off. Okay, yeah, I know this is supposed to be serious, but half of my joy in episodes like this is freeze-framing on stupid expressions David Hasselhoff makes. Craig breaks the news that they're stranded, and Mitch takes it well. Can I ask you a personal question? Where did you learn your rescue training, anyway? He's not wrong. Seeing as these two white dumbasses are stuck in the middle of nowhere now, it's time for Garner to save the day. And what better plan than to get yet another person on a hang glider? And so, the person least experienced with, and most terrified of, hang gliders somehow ends up hang gliding back to the beach. Garner is a treasure. You know, this episode could be a touching personal story of survival while Craig comforts his longtime friend, but really, the bulk of it is just Mitch bitching at him about his poor rescue attempt. I, what do you think? I think it's better if you put me over there. Oh, what? On the other side of the fire. To be fair, Mitch is dying on a mountain with only Craig's creepy stare to keep him company. Meanwhile, on the court front, it turns out his friend didn't actually drown, but it was all an elaborate scheme between him and his wife to cash in on an insurance policy and start their lives over again. Damn, that sounds exactly like something I would do! You monster! Come on, all they did was let him believe he got someone killed for a year and then abuse their friendship for lots and lots of money? What's the big deal? How could you fly off to save me without bringing me any food, huh? <laughs> oh man, I could watch this all day. You do not cut into Mitch's favorite pastime. All of this, of course, leads into lecturing Craig on what a save is. You call this a save? Let's be honest here. He just doesn't want to admit that anyone else has a save. Boy, you really are a piece of shit, Mitch. If I don't make it, Craig, <coughs> I want you to make sure Hobie is miserable. Don't worry, Mitch. You know, this reminds me of something. 
When I was a young boy, I used to go to Old Man River's house, and he would regale me with tales of his childhood. While Somebody, I would fanciful toys please kill me. <laughs> Holy crap! Why does Court have a picture of a hobo clown? Nobody smashes up my clown picture. You're out of my life. Oh man, Numi's taking every one of them to lifeguard jail. And thus, they all died in a rock slide thanks to Eddie's stupidity. Hey, Greg. Yeah. Thanks. For nothing. My save. Next time on Baywatch... Earthquake! Meanwhile, Eddie confronts his fear of babies. See it all in the explosive season finale. Mm -hmm.